Okay, so um, we can start with animation and um, materials now, but let's start with materials first. So if I go to front arm face, I can just press GZ to bring this up to my cursor. Remember, I'm selecting my armature because every other thing is um, a child of it. So what I want to do now is I just basically want to add in a plane. So shift S cursor to world origin, and I'm just going to select plane to serve as our base. So what I'll do is I'll just press um, S to scale this up to like six or scale it up like nine times. Then what we want to do is I think nine is our work. So let's get this like 15 times. Uh, you know what? Just scale it till it covers a lot. That's it. Then what we're gonna do is press tab, then go to edge select mode with the plane selected. And just press E Z grab up then select this edge right here control V tab and shade it smooth and there you go so um, what I will do now is we can start giving these materials so what I'll do is first of all going to my render engine I'm going to turn on bloom um, screen space reflection motion blur for EV, then for cycles, I'm just going to make some um, adjustment here. I'm going to change the max samples here on the viewport to 30, and not um, and not uh, 4,000. Blah blah blah. Then for the render, I'm going to um, change it to 200. Okay, so um, the next thing we're gonna do is basically we're just going to go into um, the viewport shading modes or the look div so what that will do is that we can select um, default HDRIs that we, we can use to view our phone right here so we have our phone right here so the first thing I'm going to do is basically I'm going to change the default HDRI so I'm just going to select something that is indoors um, this studio light I want indoor so I think I'm going to use this uh, a bit so this is not bad so we can start giving the phone materials. So come to your materials panel here. Give it the first material. You can name this um, the phone. So this is going to serve as the phone. So for this one, um, I just want, uh, you can make it any color you like, but I just want something that is, uh, I don't know what they call this. Is this cyan? I don't know. I, I just know it's blue. Okay, so we're going to um, turn down the roughness to make it uh, very shiny because you know you just bought an expensive phone. You must show you have the. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so um, you turn down the roughness a bit to make it shiny as well. Then what else? I think um, that would be all for the first set. What you can do next now is tab into edit mode with the phone selected. And what I'll do is basically I'll press 3 to go to face select mode. And first of all, I'm just going to create a new material. Um, I'm going to set the transmission of this material to 1 because we want it to be reflective. Um, I'm, also, I'm also going to change the base color to black. And um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the roughness something about point 0.1 or point 0.2 then I'm going to select the two faces um, right here then I'm going to press shift to select both of them then I'm going to assign this material to it so I'm going to select this and I'm going to click assign so by the time I assign it if I tap out of edit mode now you can see we have um, this screen okay so the next thing I would like to do is I noticed that um, checking reference images, you can go to websites of um, the fl um, flip phones like Samsung, for example, you can check out. What you will notice is that um, this place right here, they have their glossy compared to others. So what I would like to do is I'll just go to top view here and I'm just going to press Alt Z. I'm going to select um, these faces right here. No, no, no. Well, let's just do it manually, not that way. So I'm just going to press Shift Alt. You can hide, um, you can hide this for now, so that it's not distract. So let's start back into edit mode, and then you can press Shift Shift, um, and just select 
from this side the faces here um, you can make the faces here select this as well you can press shift alt for this side just select um, select round and then same thing select these faces and I'm just going to drag this one as well and then select the remaining so what we want to do is we're just basically going to assign a different material to this as well now um, so what you do is click the plus button new and then you are going to uh, what we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna make this material set to a value of one because we want it to be very reflective you can turn down the roughness um, a bit and then you can assign it to it so if you go to this now in tab out of edit mode we have something like this but i think this is not um clear to again so i'm just going to turn down the roughness uh, a bit even more if you like you can turn up the metallic a bit as well to make it look um like a metal and i won't be going more than that then for this side right here um i want it to match that of the screen because checking the fold phones you can see that where they fold as well you can still see it so what we'll do is basically um to see it, uh, more i can let's just go into um solid view mode so if you tab into edit mode now you just want to make um this um sets right here the same material so just click and drag over um these faces as well you don't need to stress since everything is selected this also has the same material as well so you just select this and just click assign you assign it to it now checking this now yeah you have this you can see that everything um goes together now for if you tab out of edit mode now and go tab out of edit mode and i press alt h to bring back um at this point right here what we're going to do is that uh, we want this to have the same material as the screen the foreign part here we want the side part to have um the gloss material and then we want the back to match um that of this or we can actually just um leave it because checking reference images as well it didn't change so we're just going to give this two materials so we're going to click this twice so the first one is going to we can tap into edit mode now this part um is still selected is we're going to make it uh b4 the reflective on the screen so you're just going to click assign and then you can press ctrl i to invert your selection then you select this second material here and then you want to select the phone and then you want to click assign or oh, sorry not the phone you want to select the flexi material and click assign so now if you tap out of edit mode and check this with your look div yeah this is what you have and it's looking good so far what we want now for the buttons um you just want them to be the same materials as what we had before so this one will just be a quick run down you can skip through um so select the buttons and just give it the same material as the phone now we can go to the back for the cameras where the main work will be done what we can do is um let's select the lens and let me just control s to save this let's select the lens and what we want to do is we're going to begin to our shading mode because we're going to be doing um some different stuff with the lens so we're just going to go to our shading tab here for the lens uh my ram is down a bit so computer is easy it's expected and what i want to do is i just want to um zoom into the length and what i'll do is i want to give it its own material so if i click new now for the length i want it to be two materials here so the first material is going to be the principal bsdf the second material is going to be a gloss so we need a mix shader um just type in shift a mix shader we need a mix shader right here in between then you can just put it in between here 
to come in between then let me tap back into solid view because my ram is skipping so i'll press shift a and i'll add another shader and i'm going to add in the glossy shader this time around so we can use um the main shader on our main shader here on our principal shader here uh we're just basically going to turn down the roughness um still seizing a bit so we're going to turn down the roughness to like point three we don't want it to be too rough uh or point one then we're going to set um the transmission values as well to one okay just to save time you're gonna set the transmission to one and i, I just think uh then we want the base color to basically we want it to be something of real lens so what we'll do is um oh my okay my computer is skipping now i pray it doesn't crash oh thank goodness there at this point it's called the point of no return so i just have to be saving as i go so i'm just going to set the base color of this to just um i think i'm going to set it to blue then in my mix shader here i think we've set the transmission here to one as well so in my mix shader here i'm just going to make it towards more of the transmission values then on my glossy i will reduce the roughness as well so we have something like this then i want the color to be a little bit of a darker value something like that then i want it the fact again mainly towards this so this is going to be the material for our camera then um if you recall we add um a material in this so if i press alt z now you can see see that we have this as well so what i will do for this is i'll create a new material and then i'm just going to select um the third material but i'll click this double folder icon to make it so what i'll do here is i'll just um change the color of this a bit and i just want this to be maybe like deep blue just to have like this um variation and then i'm just going to create um click assign so if i tab out now um you can see when you look um, you can see um that effect so what we'll do next is um for this one um, we're not going to do anything pretty much i'm just going to create a new material and set the base color to black and just turn up the roughness to like 0.7 or so and that will be for this part here then for the camera rim we can just use the same material we just created now um double click to create a separate material so that we can adjust then you can set the roughness to um 0.4 or so or i think 0.3 to make it yeah so that's for the camera so we can just copy these materials to everything else so you select the lens and just select this material right here select this yeah, give it the same material as um this and select the last one as well with the same material as um this now for the flash um what we're gonna do is i'm still going to give it the same material as the lens but it's going to be um white so let me select the lens material the first one double click to make it a separate one then you want to change the base color of this to white basically then um the gloss as well you can just give it white because what we're doing is this is it then the roughness turn it towards then the base color is still blue which is not what i want i want it to be white yeah so um we have that this is going to serve as the flash what you can do is you can actually turn down the roughness a bit because i think um they have that so you can turn it to 0.4 c7 or 0.5 and there you have the camera now for this display screen i'm just going to give it a new material and i'm going to set it to um emission so change the surface to emission and then I'm just going to set this an emission value 
color was change the color to black then you can see here that you still have this um, um clipping effect so what we can do is just press g not hide you can press this press g y and just grab this um slowly grab it until it touches it you don't want it yeah just before once it touches um like this i'm holding down shift to do this okay so i think i've done it so you can just hold down your arrow key till it shows up so you can press your back arrow then to get it then um my front arrow will show me okay yeah right here i'm just going to create enter so this is going to serve as the backdrop display actually for the buttons um i think i'm just going to set it to the same um material as this one here so that it matches and there you go so the next thing i'm just going to do now is for the backdrop we're going to create a new material as well then we're going to make it black as well we want a black material and we're going to turn up the roughness and turn down the specularity and you can see so far this is what um, we've been able to do then we can start animating now so if i come out and go into layout mode you want to start animating this now you can add in an image texture to this if you have it um, pre-ready made so you can just um go to your shading panel and just give this um um an image texture well we're still gonna do that at the end but for now let's go into um animation so to animate this uh okay so for the animation um if i bring back the plane here what we are simply going to do is first of all we need to create um a camera perspective so the way i want this to start is i want it to start um unfolding so i want it to show uh where it's folding first of so what i'll do is i'll select the amateur and then i'll just go into pose mode again so if i bring out n to bring out these properties here what we'll do is basically we can um press i and just insert rotation then on um the 20th frame or let's say 40 it really doesn't matter now we're just going to change this to 180 um i'm just going to change this to 180 and boom you have it straight like this so i want this to be unfolding so what i'll do is i'll just press i and then rotation again so if you play this back now you have this but you can see now that okay let me just set the end to 40 you can see now that um it's starting off fast and then it's ending slow which is not what we want so we just need to um adjust this so to do that it's pretty much simple i'm just going to press ctrl tab to go into um the animating mode it's currently set to busier which is not what we want so if i press um t now um if we change this to linear um it's a little bit worse so i'm just going to leave that so what i'll do is basically i'm going to grab this yeah and i'm just going to press x to bring it along this way and this as well i'm just going to press g x just to see that it's starting off slow and it's um ending as well so if i play this now yeah something like that um yeah so what you can do is to make this better is you can just press ctrl e and then you can just press um automatic easing so let's see how that looks so if i play this now yeah and actually i think it's starting fast okay let's just redo that we don't want automatic easing at this point so let's just press um ease out instead and let's see how it looks like yeah i think that's better or maybe not i think we should just leave it without the easing yeah to me it looks uh, better without the easing and then i think i'm just going to grab this um, a little bit towards again um, like so yeah so this is what um where i want it to be so if i press ctrl tab now 
um, you can leave this one um, it's not really important don't worry about that oh okay selecting the amateur now if I play this I think these are the main keyframes right here yeah so these ones are not the ones so I can delete them so selecting these two now you have this so I can bring this over to this side here and then what we want to do is this is going to be our starting point here this right here is going to be our starting point so what we'll do is basically um, I'm going to pr um, press shift A to add a camera now now I have to go out of pose mode so I'm going to press shift A and then I'm just going to add in a camera and I'm just going to press control number part 0 to bring it to this view and then I'm just going to press GZ to bring it um, like this you can press G then zoom with your scroll wheel to pan a bit so for the first animation um, for the camera what we're basically going to do is just like a sliding move so what I want to do is first of all selecting the amateur I don't want these keyframes to show here yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and I'm just going to press G to grab along this way then I'm going to reverse the keyframe by pressing X X minus one so by the time I do that the keyframe has been reversed so what you have is basically it's starting um, okay let, let's play that it's starting then it's opening at the end so that is what you want so I'm just going to bring it to this side here the end value I can set it to 100 for now because we're not doing anything really much so what you can do is press um, G X and then just set the camera to this side for now so we just want something that is like a sliding view so if I select this now I'm just going to press um, location for this side then I'm just going to go to like the 20th frame um, let's see where does the amateur start yeah I'm just going to go to like um, the 20th frame or probably the 15th I'm going to go to the 15th frame now just going to press the camera again I'm just going to press G X and then just bring it around this side so I'm just going to press I location so if we play this now you can see it's too fast so the same thing again this time around you're going to press control tab to go back uh, you can press um, function uh, part to bring out all the keyframes so what you want here is just um, you're gonna press T and just want to leave it at linear so it's sliding in and it's just coming like that and uh, boom just like this so that's the part now for the second animation I want to show the top as well so what I'll do is uh, um, I'll go to my top view like this then for um the next set of animation what you can simply do is um, place another camera at the top view here then just slide it along showing the name of um, the phone so what you can do first is you can just press um, this place um, the top one here and just press shift S because it's selected and then just press shift A and I'm just going to select the text um, um, yeah I'm going to select the text and I'm just going to scale it down a bit press G X to scale down the X axis and then G Y again to scale it then you can just scale it like this so we have this so what we can do is basically we can just first of all go to the text geometry here and then increase the extrusion so just extrude it up just to show the name and everything so just press G Z to grab up you can see it here so GY again because it's a little bit too big you can scale it down and then you can reduce the extrusion as well and so you have something like this so you can select and just uh, parent it to this it's only really show and doesn't really matter because it's only showing the final but you can do that so that is parent to it so what we're gonna do is basically select the text now and then just tab into edit mode name it whatever you want I'm just going to name this the pit flip <laughs> that makes any sense pit flip 
and you can name it um, whatever you want it's yours not mine so scale it and you have this so you can just press GY again if it's getting too big then S to scale it on the Z axis so so we have our text but if you go to side view now what you observe is that the text is not aligning properly with it so if I um, right click and I set origin to geometry I just want to scale this on the just rotate it and then just bring G to bring it inwards and then just rotate it till it matches the shape of that and yeah you have that now so you can just press GZ to bring it forward a bit in case it's looking too big you can just extrude up till it um, matches so what I'll do next is going back again to our view I can just press GY okay let's just leave it like this on the 15th frame right here what I want to do is uh, basically add another camera so I'll just press shift a camera and what I'll do is I'll just press control uh, alt number part zero to bring it into the active view and what I'll do is selecting the camera now I'm just going to press G and then grab it up like this so I'll just use this to show the text alone so GY we're just going to do this animation to show the text alone so if you grab this I just want to grab this along the X so uh, this first frame you can just press G to zoom out a bit this first frame will be for the um, this side alone so I'm just going to press I um, location then on the let's say 35th frame I'm just going to press G X again just to show the name uh, and then I'll just press I um, location again so if we play this now you have this but you can see starting slow and finishing we don't want that so we're just going to set it to linear and now if we play yeah and then I think I can actually extend um, okay let's do that again I think I can actually extend this one to the 40th frame so we have this and then I think like this um, extrusion is a little bit too much so I'm just going to decrease the extrude value a bit like that and then for materials I just want to use the same material as this so what I'll do is go to the materials panel and then just select um, I think it's um, this one let's see yeah it's material O2 so it's this one but I'm just going to make it a little bit slightly different what I'll do is I will um, increase the metallic up a bit just to show it there here our animation I'm um, starting again from frame 1 what you will observe is that um, this is no longer showing the camera here is no longer starting again you can see it's moving but it's only showing this one the reason is that blender doesn't know which camera is set to which frame so to do that it's pretty much simple I'm just going to select the first camera for this first animation and just going to right click set act, um, set cam active camera and what you do here is that you're going to press ctrl B in your timeline to tell camera that to tell blender sorry that when it's at frame 1 it should show you um, it should be set to this camera so if you play this now you can see now again that it's only showing through this camera so what you want to do is when you get to the 15 frame as well um, which is when this animation starts you're going to press ctrl B in your timeline again to tell blender that when it's at this frame it's this camera I want you to show so if we play this now you we have this you can see now that it's playing accordingly so I think I love that but I'm just going to press ctrl Z to redo that again because I feel like it's moving way too fast so we need to give it some time so I'm going to shift this to the 20th frame um, selecting my amateur I need to know where um, the flip starts from okay so the flipping starts from like um, 49 so I, I guess I can shift this um, frame up to this point a bit because it's down that is the most important one so I okay so um on the 20th frame is where i wanted to start now so just come to your timeline again and press ctrl b so when it's on frame 20 yeah i think that's much better because 
a little bit slow just before it gets there. Yeah, so next thing I'm just going to do is um, I think it can stop on frame 41. Now, to finish this up, if we keep playing this now, you can see it's here we have the final animation. Actually, I think before we add our final camera, I need to adjust this amateur animation a bit. So I will press Ctrl Tab again because there seems to be um, a problem with it that I'm not liking. Okay, so the way it starts basically, you can see starting this way. I think I'm just going to press G and then X or Z Y. Yeah, I'm just going to press X just to do it this way, and then for this downside as well. I'm just going to press GX again just to make it fast. It's happening way too slow. So let's see what happens when we play this now. Yeah, I think um, that is much better now. Bringing them closely together. Uh, yeah. So for this final animation here, since um, this camera on stops here and what I would like to do is I would like to add in another camera as the final view here. So where it goes, um, boom, like this is going to be our final animation for this one. So what I will do is basically I will just um, at this point here again, I'm just going to add another camera here. So I'm just going to press Shift A camera. This is the first one. So what we need to do is basically select um, the second camera and then just set active camera and then just drag out now gz to grab down because you want to see it flip and then what you can do is you can see selecting you just press ctrl alt number part zero and boom you have it here then g to drag out now so i want to tell blender that when it's at frame 41 okay i think we've extended the boundary when it's at frame 41 i want it to be set to this camera so come to your timeline again and then just press ctrl b so if we play our animation now this is what you have then it will be the final final okay so what i want is i want it to be here and um just press gz to grab it up again because i can see the flip then i can turn the focal length to like 70 because i want it to be in then let me drag it out something like that so if we play this now this is what we have then to finish this up i still think um something is off with the way it flips uh, i think i'll just increase the timing so selecting the amateur again I'm just going to delay this until like stair swim so if we play this now boom that is what you have now to finish this up all you need to do now is go into the rendered view you can see we have no light so we need to add light now to this fourth part here what i'm going to do is basically i'm just going to add press shift a and i'm going to add and i'm going to add an area light so i'm just going to press um go to my top view i want it to be around here and then gz to grab up and then just increase the area and then just press rr and then i just want to make it towards this side and looking to your camera view now this is what we have so you can see the light is not that um super sharp so what we can do now is um i'm just going to increase the power to um like 500 watts and this is what we have now you can see this black material here that i talked about the other time so this would be the uh, a good time to fix this now so if i select the phone and select this back one here we just want to create a new material for this as well so i'm just going to um, select this material here and then click the plus and then select material 01 and then i'm just going to click um assign so what I want to be different is I just want this to be basically rough. And then so if I tab out now, um, looking through our camera, 
um, this is what you have but you can see now that it's as if um, it's clipping and it's intersecting so what I'll do is if I tap back into edit mode selecting it I want to make it its own separate selection so it's its own material now if I tap back here you can see now that it's still showing a bit I think okay, let me turn on overlay so I can see yeah it's still turning on so what you can do is just press G Y and then just increase um no, bring it forward uh, a bit like this then for this in my one too as well I just want to press GY to bring this forward as well and yeah there you go so you can press GX so for this side we want to add the light so set to 500 I think 500 is too low so if I select the area lamp again like this I just want to set this to 1000 1000 seems um, like what we want so if we play this up to this frame yeah yeah it is what we want so what I will do next is I will basically just press shift A and I will add in another light to serve as the backlight so shift A and what I will do is um, just select a point lamp and just press G Y to grab to the back press G Z to cover it up to this point looking through at our camera I'm going to increase the radius and I'm going to set it to a power of 500 so this will serve as our backlight and so if you play back this animation now we have this now for this part here you can see that we don't have a light that's uh, starting from frame 20 so what you can do here is you can basically add in shift A and you can add in another light. This one will serve as the area light. Just press GZ to grab it up. Looking at our camera, you can see that we can see this a bit. So I'm just going to increase the radius but not the power. Or uh, maybe I'll increase the power to like 40 or let's say 100 just to see that. Okay, let's look through our camera now let me press ctrl b just to give it a fast render so we can see what we are doing and i think that's not bad so to see okay i think i'll reduce the power to like 50 watts yeah i think that's okay so alt ctrl b to select that and then playing this now you have this now for the final mode here i actually think this is good but i think we need one more light so what we need to do is press shift a again and add in another area light and then just press g to grab it up to this point here and remove that this way and then just press rr not really towards the phone but just to serve as it so this one will be set to um, 1500 watts so if we look through our camera now um, this is what we have now you can go ahead now to render this out so to render this it's simple first of all let me change the color management finally from the look from uh, to medium eye contrast so we have this then what I'll do next is basically I'm going to go to my output settings then I'm going to render this as a PNG because I'm going to render animation then what I'll do is I can just press um, Ctrl F12 and I think my animation stops at uh, basically the 60th frame 60th said 60th 60th frame and I'll just press 61 stop at frame 61 and yeah I think that's just um all for this tutorial you can go ahead and render this out now and you are good to go hi guys so this will be the end of this tutorial please if you found it helpful kindly subscribe and also for the emissive um, material the screen what you can do is you can give it an image texture so simply just apply this node set up noise on the screen and then open whatever image you want to use and it's going to display on your screen bye